today's video will be about why in the world am I studying philosophy? So some of you know that I am studying in Columbia University and majoring in philosophy even though I play the piano and I'm supposed to be a pianist. I thought I would take you guys along today a little bit and tell you reasons why I'm studying philosophy. If you like this video, please keep watching and subscribe! Alright, I'm about to head out to Juilliard. I'm so uncomfortable vlogging that I just decided to go all the way to the end of the platform so that no one is really around me when I'm talking. Anyway, back to why I'm studying philosophy. Now for the past, I guess four years since I've been taking philosophy classes, I haven't really been able to answer why it is that I'm taking philosophy. I've been asked this question many, many times. I was talking about how, you know, some composers like Wagner, was heavily influenced by philosophers like Schopenhauer, but like what the heck was I talking about? So it has nothing to do with Schopenhauer. I learned this fact about Schopenhauer and Wagner in the music humanities class, so I thought that was interesting. Maybe that validated the reason why I am taking philosophy. But... Sounds very... Hold on. I got lucky. Usually at this hour, at like 2.30 on Saturdays, you can't really find rooms, but I got really lucky. And this is my new friend today. philosophy? Well, originally when I was starting out in college, I applied as an English major. I thought I could get to know music better by reading more of older literature. But my first semester of college, I signed up for a class called Philosophy of Art. This whole spiel is still the same. So basically I took Philosophy of Art and it completely opened my mind. I had no philosophy background going into college, but I saw the description of this class, that it was about aesthetics and what is beautiful, what is art, that type of questions. I thought, hmm, interesting. The professor herself, she was a musician. She played violin, so it was interesting to get snippets of music into that course as well. That course really changed my view about what I want to major in, especially because in my second year, first semester, I was taking a class. Someone just looked into my room. That is very awkward. I think she was just looking for a stand, but she definitely just saw me talking to a selfie stick. Anyway. <laughs> 19th century European literature, I think it was called. I realized that I had absolutely no interest in doing any of the coursework. Aside from reading, I mean, it was fine. Reading was interesting, but it also kind of ruined my experience of reading. At the same time, I was also taking philosophy classes, I think. Oh, I took philosophy of literature. There was definitely a comparison as a result of that. In the middle of that class, in, in that semester, I decided that there was no way I was going to major in English and that I was going to be philosophy instead. So why philosophy? Back to even the first class that I took in freshman year, it was the way that you question the world. But the more I reflect, the more I realize that philosophy makes me self-reflect like no other discipline could possibly have made me. Just It changes the way you think about the world, it's just the way you act, or for me at least, because you're trained in philosophy when you write papers. You have to defend an argument, but then also raise an objection to it, and then argue in favor of the philosopher, or find an argument that argues against your own objection. So it makes you think in multiple dimensions. You have to put yourself second. You have to think in other people's shoes. I think philosophy definitely challenges you to do that. I'm gonna go back to practicing now. 
so I was playing Beethoven for a second and then I realized there's one more thing that I could say about why I do philosophy. When you play the piano, when you play music, you're essentially doing the same thing that I think I would be doing when I read philosophy. You're trying to bring someone's thought to its best light. You're not really trying to put yourself first, you're trying to put whatever the person said first. At least that's what I think happens in my case. Maybe if I were a real philosopher, I would not be doing that. Kant would be like, I am correct. I'm going to show you guys how empiricists are wrong about cognition. That's just something that I'm writing today about. So for music, you're basically doing the same thing, right? Right? You're basically doing the same thing. You're trying to show the world why they should appreciate what they wrote. There are so lots of music out there that deserves appreciation. And as a musician, you're trying to show the audience why that's the case. And now I'm going to shut the camera and go back to practicing. I am now going to go to dinner with a friend. Bye-bye. All the trains are so messed up. All the trains are so messed up. On the weekends in New York, each train was running on the F line, and the uh, what was it? The B line. The B line was running on F. I mean, they're not even on the same color. I've never been down here. Oh my gosh, cars. Cars. Okay. I'm so excited! Yum! I found it! Alright, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm just gonna be eating. And I'm not gonna talk about philosophy anymore. I don't know why I keep going to Asian restaurants in New York, but my friends just kind of want to, so here I am. If you guys want more about philosophy and music, comment down below specific questions you have. But, okay, my friend's back. Bye-bye!